There's a clear difference between saving, investing and speculating, but do you know them? Saving is for a predefined goal and figure, such as building up your emergency pot, new car, holiday, Christmas, house deposit, and it's usually within a short time frame, up to five years, so you don't want to be taking risks, just put it in the bank. Investing is also usually for a predefined goal, such as retirement or children's education, but the figure isn't as set in stone. Yes, you know what your goal is, such as the cost of your children going to university, and we can factor in inflation, but that may change. Inflation may be higher or it may be lower than what you've anticipated. Your son or daughter may want to take a gap year before they go to university. They may not want to go to university at all. It's putting money away and building a pot for your future self and for life's uncertainties, whether good or bad. It's for a period of five years plus and it's investing in something that will provide a natural income, such as rental income from a property or dividends from shares. And whether you decide to reinvest this or not is down to your personal circumstances. And then there's speculating. This is buying something that has no natural income and gambling on whether the price will go up or down, such as commodities like gold or cryptos like Bitcoin. It's only worth as much as some other fool is willing to pay for it. If you hold it for 10 years, it's useless to you unless someone is willing to give you more money than you initially paid. And this also applies to property that you don't rent out. It's just sat there costing you money, it's providing you no form of income. So there you have it, saving, investing and speculating. Make sure you know the distance between the three and make sure that you're actually doing the first two. I'm Joe Woodhouse, this is Fan Wealth 101, We'll see you tomorrow.